Welcome back to the Pam and Peggy show. I'm here with Kristen Mann, who is part of Street Art Works, as, as well I am too part of Street Art Works, and about three years it's been going on. So I brought Kristen in today to help me promote the Tunnel Vision and to share some stories with us. So welcome, Kristen. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. My so, pleasure. Maybe just tell me first how you got involved in Street Art Works and what it means to you. Well, Peggy, I... Um I've moved back here to Madison Hat in 2012, and a friend of mine um, that I had actually known from the West Coast was working in in creating the initial vision for Tunnel Vision. So that was that was the, where the big change happened, and it was just such an interesting, lively project that it was easy to access. It was a good outlet for art, and it was a fun thing to do in the evenings. And so I actually spent quite a bit of time down in the tunnel in that first summer. And since then, I mean, the artists have changed and come and gone, but it's really nice to have a place where we can go and create. Yeah, absolutely. And it was it was Carly Nigam who began the title. Is that who you're talking about? Yes, it is. Yeah, we started out with the trees, and uh, she did a really good job on that. And she has an elephant there as well, so some beautiful art. Yes. So what, what do you see in the future? What would you like to see happen with the tunnel? Well, I think that it's really come a very long way in a short bit of time, but I'd like to continue to see it evolve and grow. Uh, there's still a bit of blank space down there, and there's also a couple of panels that are frequently changed by their artists, and I, I find that really encouraging, and, and I'd like to see it become more of an of a open gathering space to, to have people down there on the evenings or the weekends, you know, just creating art and having fun and listening to music and, and creating that really positive, safe space. Yeah, and that, that, there's been a myth around for a long time about, about the tunnel, and it's scary and it's dirty. It's but myself, uh, being involved in Street Art Works when it first began, I could not believe the amount of families and people, elderly, school kids, that go through there every day, constantly. It's, it's a really humming place. Well, when we're down there working, one of the biggest comments that I hear is, I really like it now. It's bright, it's fun, and it doesn't smell like pee anymore. It's really become a much safer, better utilized space as we've brought that life to it. More people are going through and feel safe going through at all times of days. I've heard stories from an elderly woman who uses it to access her workspace twice a day and she's going down there in the mornings and then after dark in the evenings coming home. And she says, you know, she's been all over Europe and this is one of the nicest pedestrian underpasses that she's ever had the opportunity of experiencing. That it feels safe and it's not sketchy and that it's a really nice space now. But I hear this from people that are using it to go from different nightlife areas downtown to over into the, into the North Railway area as well, that they used to walk around and then they don't feel like they need to anymore. And that's really heartening. I think it goes to show that our, our work has a purpose. I would agree. I, you know, as you're walking into the tunnel, there's so much to see. Exactly. And, and your eyes are just always focused on the walls and what's new and how it's changing and evolving. And I, and I think that's amazing. And it's, it's kind of fun. Whenever people come to visit, I take them down there and everybody has a different favorite piece. And we've had artists contribute from places as far away as Vancouver. Um, we've had some people come down from Lethbridge to make some art. And then also people that are just passing through, travelers have also contributed. So it's a really interesting space for both local artists and from, for people from across the country. Yeah, absolutely. And it, recently, uh, the the sides were changed on the entry to the tunnels, and there's some boards that are still needing to be done. So, any ideas? Well, we put a call out to all artists in the city. Um, anybody who wants to get a board, they can contact you. Yes. I think you'll give your number at yeah, the end I'll of the show. Yeah, I'll give my number in a bit. Um, but it's a really good way to have a, a piece that you can take home, especially during these winter months when it's not very easy to, to let paint dry outside. You can take something home and put it up there. And it's, it's changing, um, but it's really nice to have a sampling that's visible from the street of, of the various talents that are around here. Yeah, absolutely. And it, and my reason for getting involved in Tunnel Vision was, was twofold. One, I live on North Railway, mm -hmm. constantly using the tunnel, so I did want it to look better. Uh, the other thing was really to give artists a place to display their art. And that's what this is about. Young artists can start by displaying on the top there and then in, 
and then be involved in our projects. Exactly. It is almost like a, a small, free, actually a large free art gallery. Yeah. That people are welcome at any time of day or night to just go and enjoy what what people have to offer. That's great. Well, thanks, Kristen. Thank you. So, if you'd like to join Street Art Works, please call Peggy at 504-7825. Or if you see Kristen down there doing her wonderful stuff, say hi, stop by, have a conversation. So, thanks for, thanks for watching.